Hello first graders. I hope that you guys had an awesome um, long weekend. You got to do something fun over the long weekend. I went to Polebridge on Sunday with my family. Just drove up there and hung out for a little bit and then came back home. So that was pretty fun. Um, today we're going to read Wordy Birdie. This book is brand new to our classroom library. We got it um, after we weren't coming to school anymore and so I thought this would be a good one for us to read since nobody has seen this one in our library yet. It's a really good one. Wordy Birdie. Meet Wordy Birdie. Wordy Birdie has lots to say. It starts the moment she wakes up. See? Hello sunrise, hello pink sky, hello orange sky, hello yellow sky. Hello, hello, gorgeous. Sometimes Wordy Birdie talks about what she likes. I like spaghetti and unicorns and library books and polka dots and standing on my head and... Sometimes she talks about what she doesn't like. I don't like tall grass or turtlenecks or long lines or tuna salad or losing my balloon or... Sometimes she just asks questions. Why do zebras have stripes? Is Bigfoot real? Are we there yet? But she never stops talking long enough to get the answers. Wordy Birdie is not the world's best listener. Oh, please. Are we talking about the same bird here? Okay, okay. Wordy Birdie is terrible at listening. That's more like it. She never listens to anybody. Even when she should. This one time, I totally went swimming with a narwhal. My third cousin Barb is a penguin. Really? Do you think there's an awkward, there's an award for a bird of the year? Fact. People used to think the world was flat and you could fall right off the end. One day, Wordy Birdie takes a walk into the deep woods. Naturally, she has plenty to say. That's a pretty tree, and that's a pretty danger sign, and that's a pretty tree, and... It says, danger ahead, turn back. Before long, Squirrel zips in front of Wordy Birdie. Stop! Don't go any further! Does Wordy Birdie listen? I think probably not. She does not. Ooh, a pine cone. Ooh, a sign. Ooh, a rock. Ooh, a leaf. Soon, Rabbit dashes onto the scene. Go back while you still can. Does Wordy Birdie listen? She does not. Yay, my favorites. Strawberries for me and carrots for me and tomatoes for me. Then Raccoon gives a piece of advice. Run for your life. Does Wordy Birdie listen? What do you think? Whoa, it's getting darker and darker and darker and darker and darker. And looky there, white circles and triangles. I love white circles and triangles. And maybe it's a monster. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh, do squirrel, rabbit, and raccoon just leave Wordy Birdie there? What do you think? We do not. Come on, follow us this way. And Wordy Birdie, she listens. Hooray! That was almost unbearable. We made it! Then Wordy Birdie says thank you the best way she knows how. I love you guys. Like, I really, really, really love you. Seriously, I love you more than spaghetti and unicorns. And Wordy Birdie still likes to talk a lot. See? Good night, sunset. Good night, orange sky. Good night, purple. Ooh, good night, you. But sometimes... She likes to listen, too. Remember when we totally saved her from that bear? We were brave and amazing, and that was so cool. Now that's what I call a good story. I'm going to read it again and again and again. And then she'll read it approximately 523 more times. This is true. Yep. The end. It's a very good story. I hope you guys enjoyed I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I keep my days all thrown off because we didn't have school yesterday. But have a great day. Bye.